Um, uh, it's it's a camp you have to eat. I'm growing as long as it will go. Till Saturday. Just check. Till Saturday. I'm not, uh, <laughs> obviously, I'm not. I don't grow very good facial hairs. Does anybody else have camp facial hair? Yeah. Uh, Shepard, Austin Shepard usually has a good beard for us. Um, I don't, it doesn't doesn't look like AJ is going to be growing this season's beard out this year. <laughs> Yeah, if Shepard shaved, would he would it come back full and just as full the next day? Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he does, he grows it fast for sure. He's he's shaved before and he he does look like a whole new person, but uh, <laughs> he uh, he does grow it fast. I wanted to ask you, you know, a lot of times as camp goes on, things kind of settle in. It looks like your group's lines are getting even longer as more guys. You know, Brandon Green comes over, mm -hmm. uh, LaMichael comes over. What, mm -hmm. You know, t talk a little bit about uh, the, your group. Um, well, you know, our, our group is growing, and it's, uh, we, we have gotten some new guys in, Brandon Green and LaMichael. And, um, and uh, that's, I mean, in terms of um, how they're doing, I mean, I, I think everyone's doing great, and uh, it's, a, it's a process starting a new position. But uh, I think everyone's been progressing very well, and, uh, it's been fun having some new guys in there. Quanjos to come over there somewhere? Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Whatever the coaching staff decides. But I think the Quanjo brothers are doing pretty well where they're at now. Are you both doing mostly H or mostly tight end or mostly or both? Or are you doing the same? Or is there any difference um, in the I, I've been doing both. Um, I, I, that's, um, I can play both. And that's um, when... Well, I'll just, I'll just say I, I, I can do both, yeah, but uh, in the two tight end sets, I usually play H. I think it was uh, Ogler was telling us how impressed he was with how he came back from the, the back injury. Mm -hmm. You told us about that before, but was there ever a point where you were worried it might cost you and, and your career, I should say? Um, I, I, I try not to worry about that and uh, because, you know, at a time, uh, when you're when you're hurt and you're down, it you know a lot of times it seems like you know how could I ever play again? But um, but that's just you can't think about that. You just got to do the rehab and trust in the trainers and do what they tell you to do and uh, just do everything you can to get back and trust the process there. And usually it pays off and it, it has. What did happen and and when did it really start affecting you and that kind of thing? Um, well, I had I had some disc issues in my back and. Um, and after the, you know, after the uh, Notre Dame game, I had surgery, and um, you know, kind of rehabbed all through that spring. And, and I played in the spring, you know, I played spring ball, and uh, went well, and was still kind of rehabbing through that. But uh, but now I feel great. Coach mentioned OJ, and then he showed some flashes, but at other times he doesn't seem to get the system. How tough is that for a freshman to grasp? Do you think? It's tough, and it's it's hard for any any true freshman to play. But, um, but I think Obi's doing a great job, and I think he's um, I think he's uh, really progressing well throughout camp, and uh, he, he progressed a lot in the spring, and uh, I think he's getting a lot better, and uh, I think he could be a really really good player for us. On Saturday, you've got a scrimmage. You've had one scrimmage, but this is the last one before gets into game week. Mm -hmm. What's uh, how important? Well, I know it's important, but is it different? important than the first one? Um, every, you know, it's like Coach says, every time we go on the field, it's an opportunity to show um, show your performance, show your skills, and, uh, you know, show how your hard work and has paid off. And, um, but scrimmages are a little different um, in that, you know, it gives you a chance to go out there on the field without the coaches and without, um, without anybody telling you what to do or, you know, the quarterback coming in the huddle, calling the play, and then you translating that into your assignment, you know, how to do it, where to go, um, how to execute it, and why you need to do it. And, um, and yeah, it's you know, every scrimmage is a great opportunity for every player to um, to show their performance and show how good they can be in a game-like situation. What are those last periods of practice like when you guys are looking way down the schedule at uncertain opponents? How does that help you down the road, and what is it like going to camp or through camp or going to camp? Uh, what do you mean? I don't like understand when, the question. When you, say, when you guys look at a different opponent, I guess, at, at the end of practice, say, when you're talking about just preparing week by week, I guess, going through the schedule. 
listening right now or yeah, right now. Um, I don't I don't worry about that as much. Um, we do do uh, some game planning uh, early in these times for teams down the road, but uh, it's not a huge focus. Um, and I, I just try to worry about you know what we're installing now and uh, just yeah. trying to learn the defenses as well as we can. Can't help but notice it's first are worrying. How are your parents going to juggle that? Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, especially with uh, with Barrett at the Rams and with me and now my younger brother here, uh, they they got some uh, some things pulling in different directions. But uh, they they have already uh, scheduled some some one two punches from the the Saturday Sunday uh, games. Um, but you know, I think they're just gonna do the best they can. They're not gonna try to go to every game every weekend, and you know, cause that, I mean, it would be exhausting. But um, you know, I mean, they're just gonna support us right away. How's he doing? How's Barry doing? Yeah. Uh, you know, from what I know, I think he's doing well. I think he likes it a lot. I think he likes Coach Fisher a lot. Uh, likes his position coach a lot. You know. Yeah. How's yeah, Walker? Any collisions? Any collisions with him yet? Any collisions with Walker? Uh, you know, we see each other every once in a while. How's he doing? Yeah. How's Walker doing? Yeah. Uh, I think he's doing well. I think he's uh, progressed well throughout camp. And um, what's impressed me the most is just the mental side of it. He's been real positive about everything. And, and that can be tough for a freshman to come in, especially one that came in in June and not, you know, earlier in January. And, um, you know, just from the speed of practice and, and the coach is constantly on it, it's, it's an adjustment. And, uh, but I think he's handled it very well. I mean, he's real positive about it and just really seems like he just wants to work hard. All right. Thanks, Harrison.